I greet you all in the love of Jesus Christ and pray that everyone is continuing to be safe, engaging in social distance, and following safety protocols as communicated by the scientific and health communities. I am Elder Willie Moody, chapter representative of Virginia's Tidewater chapter of the Gospel Music Workshop of America. We have embarked upon this endeavor in partnership with Reverend S. Anthony Justice and the Musicians Academy to present Ruby Virtual Choir 2020. This is our chapter's 40th year in music ministry, thus the name Ruby Virtual Choir. Because of the pandemic, we wanted to continue to keep our chapter and friends engaged virtually. Now, the reality of of this moment is that nothing will be the same as it was before. If, if we as the church are going to survive in this digital space, then we must learn how to engage in it and to use the tools of the space. Thank you, Reverend Justice, for coordinating the Ruby Virtual Choir project. Thank you to every participant on and off screen who helped us with this endeavor, including Dr. Peggy Britt, Minister Earl Bynum, Reverend Charity Fisher, and Dr. Sylvester Starks, our chapter representative emeritus. In this season of trifold uncertainty, our posture is to bless God and to make his name great. We've come to remind you that there is nothing too hard for our God, for his greatness is inconceivable. We are the recipients of his unconditional love. There is no one that can measure up to the unbeatable power of our God, for our God is great and he's greatly to be praised. Come on, choir. Let's magnify him. We've come to declare that our God reigns and is worthy to be praised. Come on, let's talk about it. The greatness of the Lord. The greatness of the Lord is inconceivable. Come on, the love that he shows. The love that he shows is the power of the Lord, the power of the Lord is, unbeatable. is unbeatable. Come on, grace. grace is the Let's sing it again. Come on. The greatness of the Lord.
brothers and sisters by now, we hope that you've gotten the point. That is that God is everything we need God to be. Even in times of pandemic, in times of disappointment, in times of unemployment, in times where we don't know what our next move is going to be, God is still the greatest power that we've ever known. As a result of us now knowing that, we want to invite you now into a relationship with Jesus Christ, a relationship with the Son of God who loved us and died for us. The Bible says in Romans 10 and 9 that if you would confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, literally say it out of your mouth and believe that God raised Jesus from the dead, you will be saved. Nobody can ever take it from you. Nobody can ever question it. As long as you do that and follow that formula, you will be saved. Now, I'm not here to tell you that everything in your life is going to be perfect now that you're saved. But what I am here to tell you is that step by step, you will begin to see the hand of the Lord moving in your life. You will begin to see a change begin to take place in your life that perhaps may have never taken place before. And it doesn't stop there, my brothers and sisters. We even invite you to join and connect with the virtual church so that your relationship with God may be solidified and that it may mature and grow as you mature and grow. And so my prayer for you today is that you would allow the Lord to come in your heart and save you, fill you with the precious Holy Spirit that will ignite change in your life for the better. And then you will be able to be a witness that if God can do it for me, then God can do it for everyone else around me. God bless you. Thank you for worshiping with us today. Now unto him who is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding great joy to the only wise God, our Savior, be glory, majesty, and dominion, and power both now, henceforth, and forevermore. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you. The Lord lift up his countenance and give you peace both now and forever. Amen. Amen.